Arsenal Football Club versus Everton Football Club. This is a big game. This is the game. <laughs> this is the game in hand. It's a big one. And we need this game. I trust the boys to turn up because if, once you win this game, you go five points clear off Manchester City in this title race. And this time of the season, you don't want to be dropping unnecessary points. Like Pep Guardiola said, the person who drops the lesser points wins the league. For real. No lies. The person who drops the lesser points win the league. And this part of the season, you actually want to win games like this. When you could win, Dominic Lewin will not be available for Everton, which leaves Sean Dice with the obvious choice, Neil Mope. And I expect Gabriel Maglaris and William Saliba to do a perfect job against Neil Mope. In the first leg, we struggled against the physicality of Onana, Dakori, and Idris Guy. But going into the second leg, I want to see an Arsenal midfield that is direct, decisive, and sharp. They like Arsenal to actually get on everything from the get go, get on everything from the first whistle from the start of the game. Because these days, I feel like our first half has kind of been slow in recent games. Our first half has kind of been slow in recent games. We've lacked that vibe, we've lacked that fight in first half in recent games. But going into this game, knowing it's an important game, I want to see that fight in the first half. I want to see Arsenal take this game to Everton. And I actually like. Leandro Trossard to continue as the top nine in this game because against low block teams, you need a player who can drift across the front line in as much as, you know, dragging players out of position and allowing Martinelli and Bukoyosaka to make those runs in behind. You could see the goal against Leicester. Similar to that, I actually want to see that continue. Probably Nketiah can come from the bench and bring something new to the game. So for me, I actually want to see an Arsenal team Turn up. We need to turn up. Like, we gas turn up for that game. No excuse. We gas turn up. And coming back to the midfield, this brings us to the big question. Jorginho or Thomas Partey? Personally, going into this game, I would want to stick with Jorginho. Like the gaffer said, Thomas Partey has had his injury problems, only had one section, and he needs to get back the rhythm. So, going into this game, I would actually want to stick with Jorginho because Jorginho, on the other hand, has come in, put in a good shift, has been decent. Good passer of the ball, keeps the ball, and the game against Leicester City, he was decent. So going forward, I would want to keep that momentum and then give Pate some time to actually get himself back and fit.